Hello, this clip will discuss uh, a few examples of variance computation and also discuss some properties of variances. Okay, so let's take the first look at the first example. Um, so let's toss a fair coin and let uh, random variable x equals 1 if the coin turns up head and 0 otherwise. So what is the expected value of x and what is the variance of x? I'll wait a few seconds so that you can think about it and then, then I'll give the answer. Alright, uh, so what's the expected value of x? Now, uh, if you recall correctly, the x is something like an in another indicator of random variables, right? And, and we've done this a few times. So expected value of x equals the average over our possibilities, our, our possible value of x, right? So it's going to be zero times probability of x becomes zero. And this will go to zero, right? Plus one times the probability of x being one. And that's, uh, that's, uh, it's get, uh, x is one if the coin turns up here, right? So it's, this happened with probably one half, so this is one half. Now, so what's the variance of x? So we can just use the definition of the variance, right? So it's expected value of x square minus the square of expectation. All right. So let's try to compute this. So expected value of x square. That's uh, so x square is zero with probability zero square with probability x being zero, right? And also uh, one square with probability x equals one. And that so that's uh, that's one half. Okay, and then you plug this in, so you get that variance of x is uh, one half minus this is one half right so it's one half square and that's uh, one fourth right so it's to get this down to this one fourth okay now let's look at another example okay so um let's think about a general case okay so if you have a, an indicator random variable such that uh, x is one with probability p so previously we have p equals one half, right? So what is the variance of x? Okay, so I'll, I'll wait a few seconds so that you can think. And I hope that if you cannot finish your calculation, you should pause the video. All right, if you haven't finished your calculation, you can go back and look at the previous exercise, right? Uh, the previous uh, one with the coin toss and try to do it with this. If you have fini haven't finished, please uh, stop the video and then try to get it done before you watch further. All right, so let's let's do it. Okay, so variance of x is again the expected value of x square minus the square of the expectation. Okay. And we know that this is uh, p, right? p square, sorry. This is expectation of x is p, and so expectation of x square is p square. So what is left is this. So let's try to calculate it. So it's take values 0 square with probability x being 0, right? And 1 square with probability x being 1. And this cancel. So this is probably the last time I'm going to do this. All right. So we get that the probability of x, uh, the expected value of x square is uh, is just p. Okay. So if you plug them in, so you get p minus p square. And the usual form that we're going to use is this p times one minus p. All right. So the variance of an indicator of random variable. Okay, the the random number which take value uh, just one zero is this. Okay. All right. 
So let's look at another uh, Lattice set. Uh, um, so let's x be a random number chosen uniformly from the set, this set. So, so find the expected value of x and variance of x. All right, so um, we can we can do 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 with this pretty easily. So let's start with that. So expected value of x is so you have to sum over our possible value of x, okay? And you must and you put the weights of uh, this value be, being selected, okay? So it's going to be the sum from one to ten, right? And the probability that you get one number is uh, because you pick one number at random uniformly so uh, the probability probability you get one is one tenth so you multiply it with uh, with this probability of x being i and that's one tenth right so this is sum from one to ten times i times one tenth all right, so uh, let's take the tenth out, one tenth, and this is the sum from one to ten, right? So it's going to be uh, what's the what's the value, right? So it's going to be fifty-five, I guess. Oh, it's going to be fifty-five. So that's this is pi five point five. Okay, so now the variance. So let's compute uh, the variance. So we can try doing that with uh, the expectation of x square. Okay. So this is uh, again going to take the value of x or possible value of x, but this is going to be square. Okay, and, and it's over ten, right? So it's going to be one tenth times one square plus Two square plus three square plus four square and so on plus ten square. Alright, and this is equal to you can hit the calculator now or we can uh, try to use some formula. Alright, so with the help of Python I actually came up with the answer. So uh so this is uh Five hundred, uh, three hundred fifty-five over ten. So that's okay. So let's plug in. So the variance of x is this point uh, five minus expectation of x square. So it's five point five square, and that's uh, eight point two five. All right. All right. So now let's let's look at another case for fair coin. But let random variable x be ten, if the coin turns up here and zero otherwise. Okay. So what's the ex expected value of x? So with probably one half you get zero, and with probably one half you get ten. So this is five, right? So it, what is the variance of x? Okay. So we can just use the standard definition of variance. So it's it's the expected value of x minus mu square, right? So with so mu is uh, clearly five. So with probability, uh, uh, so it's the value if x is uh, is zero, right? Then uh, the value is zero minus five square and this happens with probabilities of x being zero okay and plus um, x can be 10 right so 10 minus 5 square time the probability that x equals 10 okay so this is one half and this is also one half right so this is uh, what is this so it's going to be uh, 5 square, right? 5 square, right? So it's uh, 25 times 1 half. Plus, this is also 5 square, right? So it's 25 times 1 half. 
So you get that the variance is 25. And if you recall that previously when we have a to coin toss with uh, x, so let's call it x prime, so it, this is be the, either being 1 or 0. In that case, the uh, expected uh, the variance of this, uh, the fact coin, the, the random variable uh, associate with the fact coin toss in the first example is, is 1 fourth, and this is 0 0.25. Now, if we increase the value of x by 10 times, this value goes up by how much? Do you think how, how much? So it's about 100 times, right? Okay, so this is, this is not uh, coincident, okay? Because there's a nice uh, property of the variance that, uh, that uh, if, if we uh, have the random variable x, and we look at another random variables which are which is a a x plus c the variance of this thing will become this so the c part is gone and the constants to the the random variables become square get square outside like this okay so we're gonna prove it okay so now we're gonna prove one of the case where uh, x plus c okay and the case where you have multiply uh, a some factor a that get multiplied with a random variable, we will do that in we'll do that in the exercise. Okay, so let's show let's prove this. All right, so um, let's look at the expected value of x plus c first. Okay, so from the linearity of expectation, we know that we can say that the the sum expectation of the sum is the sum of of the expectation so we get this and this is uh, expected value of x plus c right so the variance of x variance of so let's say uh, the variance of let's define define y to be random variable y to be x plus c right so the, so the variance of y is expected value of y minus expectation of y square okay, so it's expected value of this so uh, if we expand out plug this in so the expected value so the variance of y is the uh, y is the x plus c right so minus expected value of y so which is this term is this so it's minus expectation of x plus c, right, square, right, and this cancel out, right, so minus, minus get inside, so this cancel out. So you get back to the expected value of x minus uh, expectation of x, everything square, and you take the expectation of that, so you get this to be x minus expectation of x square. And this is variance of x as required. Okay. Um, so the question of the segment, and you have to work on it in the exercise this uh, to show this. So the variance of ax equals a square times the variance of x. All right. Uh, I'll see you later. Thank you.